Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day and this morning today even more magical. I hope today you'll enjoy the video because you have asked for it. So this is Manners and Black Hole. If you're wondering, these are the only two videos I did before doing uh, yesterday's video and the final video. I did those two first, but I chose to put them in the middle because I thought the order would look more suitable because doing freedom in the set of uh, play domination and freedom seemed a lot better than throwing in two songs uh three songs and then the final one you know what i mean so yes i just switched it up but yeah so uh we're doing uh manners and black hole excited uh let's see because they're two songs if they're completely different if they're more similar why they're together uh you've specifically suggested this uh specific performance so i'm excited to check it out and yes let's go take a look oh the day of may okay oh i can a start yeah girl Lisa looks so nice. Oh, it sounds so nice. Oh, I love this. Okay, I feel like we're climaxing. So, I love the start. Akinate sounds amazing to begin with, and that combo of just bass and drums sounded insane because they're both kind of deep instruments, especially when you're not playing the discs of the drums, when you're playing the actual drums and they're like, they're drums. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're very deep, they're very heavy, they're very powerful. So, combining it with the bass because it's so deep and everything they blend so well together it's such a nice start it's such a powerful start not a lot of songs start like this and i i love it and then you could even more like hear the start of uh the guitar like so much more it was so cool and then the song hit and it was like <laughs> so yes i like how it's chill and then you have the guitar Oh, I can hear the bass. It sounds so good. Okay, I love the rhythm here. This song sounds a lot more relaxed. Like it has a lot of complexity in its music, but it's a lot more relaxed than usual songs. It's slower paced than usual <laughs> songs of theirs. Uh, it's something different and I'm glad I, che I decided to check it out as well. I was gonna do black holes only, but I was like, okay, it's a two set video. They have been suggesting them together. Sure. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it sounds so special. It's something completely different uh, and new. Obviously, all their songs can be completely different. Like, I got to hear a pop song of theirs, uh, a more fast one, an even faster one, a more heavy one, a more clean rock one. Uh, this is a bit on the 
relaxed side. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but it's it's really, really fun. I don't know. I, I like it. I love how we get the, um, the rhythm repeating there at the end. It sounded really nice. I also like Kanami's uh, guitar solo parts there. And the bass. Misa is slaying. It sounds so good. What I want to figure out is, is this a, the time where Miku didn't know how to play completely well the guitar? Uh, because I haven't seen her play a lot of it. I'm not sure. Also, if it is one of those times, you can see the missing organ uh, instrument. Okay, she is doing a bit. Maybe it's at the point where they either didn't add parts, they didn't divide the parts for her, um, or she's still at the learning part, so she's doing a bit of a, a bit, a few bends. Uh, and a few uh, notes, although she's reaching pretty nice in, th in the rhythm and like that doo 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 doo, -doo she did there, um, doo, doo 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 doo, like that thing she did there, very clean. So um, I'm guessing it's at that stage maybe, and that's why maybe they also chose to play it safe and she wanted to just do a few just to be like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. we're good. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing that's it. But you can see how. Um, her skill on the guitar has actually en enhanced the actual whole band and songs they play because having her play with uh, Kanami really pays off. Like, they sound so good. It makes the guitar even more intense, which is really, really cool and needed because <laughs> the other instruments are epic. So, because they have such powerful pieces, I feel like dividing the guitar was a really, really good choice for them because it just helps um, just focus sometimes the the sound to uh, the guitar uh, and then the voice because uh, there's like an order. Uh, so it's, I've said ah oh, so many times. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's quite important to have, you know, this, um, to have some changes, so like sometimes the guitar sounds better, sounds above the other instruments and shines more, and then you have the drums part, and then you have uh, Misa's bass coming in a bit more, even more. So I like this change, um, and I feel like the guitar, uh, that it could also be the constant one. So if you have a constant instrument that keeps on playing, it keeps on a really, really nice, powerful rhythm for everyone. Uh, and beat and everything. So when it stops, it even it's even more dramatic. Uh, when it when other instruments play solo, it play solos is even better, and it blends in with the other instruments in a way that the other instruments stand out too because they're heavier in tone, so they actually come out more. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Amazing. <laughs> I love Kanami. Kanami's solo was super fun. So bends, super clean. She had a few bends there. Fingers super fast, both in the picking and everything. And she's just teaching us how to make cool solos with some pretty straightforward and clean moves. So I, I love it. It makes it easier for anyone who also wants to learn. And let's say no one's made a tutorial how to play it. You just watch her play it on stage if you have the close of the guitar. And she's playing it super clean. So. Hands 
perfectly in place, picking that amazing, I love it. And she's just enjoyable to watch. Also, bass was super fun in the background, like it, it adds that little thing. What I'm saying is it just brings up the whole song. Instead of just hearing one instrument, hearing two is even better. It's even more enjoyable because you have some complexities and blends and combinations to enjoy. <laughs> And then if you have it alone, it's a bit more straight, clean forward. But sometimes people don't only like that. And I'm one of those people. I like diversity in the instruments, having a lot of them and craziness in them. And it, it's just, I like it. <laughs> Experimenting with music, basically. Okay, I love this. That was a really, really cool performance. I love how we ended with the, the singing, the voices. Because it sounded, it, it, and it's not like just singing. They've whispered it in a way, which was really, really cool. I like it. It's like they've added an effect to the ending. <laughs> oh, I like it. They've also blended it with that uh, 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 they had at the end. Sounds really good. Really cool. Okay, okay, let's do black holes. Black holes? <laughs> a minute <laughs> they sound super insane the song is completely different from the previous one i was so laid back and now i'm like <laughs> i love it it sounds so cool honestly i love the drums in here like the drums are keeping a super fast paced beat and then you have the instruments that when you start actually concentrating on them and paying attention to like guitar oh drum bass oh <laughs> You know what I mean? It's really, really cool. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's so fast paced. Oh my god. This catch is so off guard.
Wow. <laughs> okay, I love the beat they're keeping and everything. It's super cool that it sounds so nice. So so nice. Epic almost. No, it it is epic. Oh god. I I love it. Like it's so cool. I also love the singing parts in this. They're so playful and all over the place, but with some sense to them which doesn't make sense to anyone else because this is completely new and I haven't seen anyone do this but it's so cool <laughs> this is this is getting like uh, uh, excuse me can you what did you think of that how <laughs> that is so cool oh my god I also love how we had bass start playing there and we cut off guitars and stuff because I like how we go to a deeper level and then we'll pick up again. It, it sounds so good. Like, I love the changes too. Like, it is working so well. <laughs> it's so intense. I love this. This is so cool. I love how we had the part where Miko and Saki were singing. So Miko was actually not playing the guitar then. So you could hear the other three instruments. And then when she picked up the guitar and the music got even more difficult and even more intense, adding this instrument, this extra guitar actually gave it a huge fun boost to the whole music, which was so fun because especially at that part, the song was getting a bit slower. So when it picked up again, and it got a bit, tiny bit more intense than before, super fun, super, super fun. I enjoyed it so much. Wow. And it's happening again now, which is going to be super cool. <laughs> Drums. Building up. This is so good. Yes, go girls. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> there wow <laughs> i'm not sure if that ending is too fast <laughs> or if it's okay because that, that was okay wow that ending listening to all the instruments together actually gets confusing but listening to only the guitar and only the drums and only the bass i feel like it's gonna be it's a really really good ending because i started listening to it and i was like shocked because like oh my god this is getting confusing and then i started picking up because it showed guitar, I picked up guitar. Okay, guitar. Oh, that sounds really good. And then I was bass. Okay, so there, because it is too fast, uh, hearing them together gets 
wild. <laughs> now, some people might actually really, really like that. But ah, it gets a bit confusing for me. But I really, really like it a lot. Like, it gives you something to do. Like, as an audience, you have to be active enough to actually, when listening to it, uh, be picking up only the instruments. Which is really good because it keeps you active. You don't need to be passive as an audience. Like, you're listening to music for a reason, right? <laughs> I like how they build up to Unbelievable. They are amazing. <laughs> this is so insane. Okay, um Yeah, I actually pretty like I pretty much liked both of the songs. One's a bit more laid back and relaxed and I really really enjoyed. Uh I also like this one though because it had a different well, completely different genre to it. Uh it's more intense. It's uh I don't know, it, it, the ending is kinda confusing to me like it's a good thing that it's short because if it was long i would be too confused <laughs> but true second time hearing it focusing only on the instruments is the key uh and i like that it's short if it was long i would be like no like that's not gonna work for a huge song uh but it's, it's really nice it works because they actually you're like what the heck just happened what am i listening to <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> they're completely different. I'm actually shocked and I don't know why they're next to each other like this. Uh, anyone who wants to explain, be, be sure to do so. Uh, usually everyone does. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'll have a hundred comments explaining what the heck is that. <laughs> Blend together of the songs. Why are they in this order? Is it because they are in an album together, maybe? That might be it. So I actually enjoyed both of them they've they are insane i'm guessing this is a part where either they get didn't give miku more guitar parts for support guitar or something um or miku didn't wanna i'm not i'm, I'm guessing that's not it because miku was actually okay with going in front of the audience and how holding the guitar i'm not sure what the story was exactly but she didn't know how to play the guitar and then she trained with ganami so I'm guessing this is the part where she's still training and not at the exact level where like last time she could actually play and be really, really good help for the team. Uh, I feel like this is a backup guitar for some reason because she's doing bends and tricks. Her finger work is really nice and fast. I'm guessing she's just worried she's going to lose like maybe singing parts and she's confused. She doesn't want to get confused. So that's why they didn't do it too much um i can see she could do it maybe she just hesitated a bit because she wanted to be sure next time she does it she tries it out so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to like subscribe click the for notifications i'll be over you'll be seeing, seeing sending you and i'll see you next time in my next reaction Bye bye